Hey guys, this is Gail. I had some time today and decided to do a weekly slash daily plan with me and my Hobonichi cousin and my Hobonichi weeks. These two planners really work together for me. My Hobonichi cousin handles the majority of my planning, scheduling, tracking, while my weeks handles my meal planning, grocery list, and on-the-go scheduling and organization. I'm at a really good place in my planner currently to show you how I'm using my weekly section. I basically have one spread to do, spreads to show you that are finished, and one spread in progress. So I'll show you that in a second. Actually, I'll just show you that right now. Um, I don't really plan with stickers that often in my planners. I've been playing around with them in my weeks, but I decided not to use them for what I'm doing today. These are the only tools I'm gonna be using. So I'm gonna list what I have my stuff in on in the description of this. But right now I'm just gonna start with showing you guys what a finished spread looks like for me. This was from, what is this? The first week of April. And it just, it's all filled in. For me, weeklies really have a mixture of pre-planning and then record keeping at the end of them. So I'm gonna go through now and, oh, and I wanted to point out that I really kind of try and make these work for me and fit my needs. So when I first started using them, they look differently. And then as I changed things up, my setup changed a little bit. You know, I, I grew to get a next week section. And most recently I changed from having this large to to buy section to having a to buy and really mostly Instagram section here just so I can kind of keep track and keep on top of that and I guess without further ado it's just time to see how I set one of these up I do all of this planning in the Hobonichi Teco ballpoint pen that came with the planners. Um, I think it's just a uni ballpoint 0.05. I really like it. I use a little ruler and usually they're mild liner or a Tombow for the color I do. And just something I Just something I should point out that I have been doing this kind of similar layout for so long now that I've noticed the pages are getting kind of thin on my lines and like here I got like a slight little tear. So I've been using my pencil board to tuck it under so that I don't rip through the pages while I'm marking them out. And now starts a time where I wish I was better at random rambling banter because we're gonna get a little bored of each other. See, you can still kind of pop through the paper if you don't have your board all the way in the back. I'm really hoping my light is okay because this was a bitch and a half to set up and I have a feeling it's still not right. I wish I could just kind of take this video outside because it's so pretty today. I ended up with a lot of extra time to myself. My husband is out doing like a shave meetup. Guys, wet shaving, big community in case 
you ever wanted to know that. Maybe you have significant others that are into that. I don't know. It's pretty cool. Maybe you're into it yourself. I feel like your legs would be really soft. I usually do all my basic lines first and then go back in for the habit tracker because it's not hard to do. It's just the most annoying one to do. That's it. Now, I really like this setup because it's been, for me, the easiest weekly prep work that works the best. I, I never felt that, you know, the inserts that you buy from people usually fit me that well. You know, I'm I'm a very unique and rare flower, apparently, and I need to do things myself. But it's also just fun, like I enjoy it. So, there we go, we have that too. And honestly, what's the point in doing any of this if it's not enjoyable? At least a little bit. I tried filming this video once already and I am ever my harshest critic just had to kill an ant disregard me And I didn't think that I like did a good enough job rambling at the camera or showing exactly how I did anything. So here I am doing it one more time and hopefully I'll be satisfied this time because these things take forever to do. I really don't know why. Well, I do know why, because this takes forever even if I'm not talking to camera. And I just had to set all this up and pretend like I have any sort of real photography skills. I tried like taping up a poster board to like cut down on my shadows. I don't know what I'm doing. I can't do that. Well, I, I like could, but <laughs> it didn't work. I didn't know how to make it work right. And skill I don't have. I've also been switching it up with the blue ink recently. Very fun. A little bit more exciting than, than the black I usually use. So, now we have all our lines in, and now it is time to put in our writing. So, I'm gonna start with the weather. I had this grand idea for a little while that I was going to, I don't know, keep up with the weather 
on a daily basis. So it was like an accurate reflection of the weather, like 100%. That did not, did not work out. I found myself like trying to update it at around like nine or 10 at night and not remembering what the weather that day was whatsoever. So now I really just do it at the beginning of the week and I use it to try and kind of help me plan out my week and make those sort of planning and scheduling decisions. So, I do not record keep weather properly, but I'm okay with that. We can't win in everything. And once I figure out where I have a weather app on the iPad, we'll be getting started. Okay, here we go. Apparently it's going to rain on Monday. But at least these temperatures are getting better. It almost looks like we may even get a whole week of spring weather in New York, which is virtually unheard of. Scattered thunderstorms. And I have to figure out how to draw this. It is a new one. Okay, that's fun. Now that weather is all done, I'm gonna fill in for my water tracking. Honestly, I'm not entirely sure why I keep writing this in because I like don't do it anymore. Sometimes I do it on Monday, but high hopes for the water usually doesn't pan out. I've been using a little rain drop or water droplet because it's very cute and easier than trying to fit H2O. Now, the Hobonichi Cousin is really nice because it's nine boxes wide. So this is actually perfect for an eight cup tracking of water every day. Now we have task list. Next week. And then our little tracker. Don't take, I don't know why I write this down.
Okay, I have that set up. Now I just mark off my sections at the bottom of my days. That's what I envision a <laughs> Instagram symbol looks like. So, <laughs> yeah, don't judge me. Oopsie. All right, not too bad. Now, to fill this in, I'm gonna be pulling my tasks from my previous week and my appointment and schedule, both from standing appointments I have kind of in my head and my monthly calendar. Now, give me a second, let me make sure that I have I just need to cover one thing in my monthly before I flip on over there. Okay, so I'm gonna start by transferring over, well actually I'm gonna start with the, with my month, with for my monthly tasks. So next week is the week of April 15th. That is crazy. <laughs> All right. Now, 3 p.m. chiropractor. And then at 5. Appointment for my husband. And actually, I do also have an appointment for myself then. So let me write that down before I forget. put a little line between it for one is an appointment to my husband about, the other is an appointment I have myself. Well, I have my pen out. I have, I have a bad back, so <laughs> I'm going to the chiropractor and physical therapist on Monday. And going to the gym. <clears throat> one of those in my head appointments. Okay, so next in my head appointments are my other two training sessions. My daughter has the best standing appointment of the week, nails. <laughs> okay, 17th, 1.45. I have to go to court about an inspection ticket on Wednesday. It's going to be annoying, but not the end of the world. We will deal with it. 
All right. 10 a.m. I'm hosting Passover dinner at my house on Friday. Very excited to have the family over. Very excited to cater it and not stress my uh, myself out with cooking. And we have Easter Sunday with the family in New Jersey this year. That'll be fun. And I just realized now that I have transferred all of my weekly appointments that I currently know about that I have forgotten to go through and color in my little sections. So I'm going to take a second and do that right now because it just makes it look better. For a while there, I was only using gray, which is so pretty and so chic, but I was missing all of my bright, obnoxious colors. Like, how much fun is this? It's going to be so exciting whenever I open this up this week. Last week's coral was so exciting, too. And that was actually the first plan with me I tried to do but it sounded so boring. I'm worried this one still sounds boring. Maybe it does, I don't know. I have a feeling it's gonna be a pain in the butt to edit. <laughs> Planner girl problems. It looks so much, so much prettier. I didn't realize I left this all open. Okay. So now that that is all done, I'm going to go back into last week's tasks list and move over anything that hasn't been accomplished that still needs to get done. I'll also put some to-dos directly into my weekly plan. And I actually consult this every day before I make my daily schedule. So I, and I'll show you that actually more towards the end of this video. Okay, so that is all that I had to put in right now. So for me, and it's Saturday, so this is freaking fantastic. My, my planner right now going into Monday is 100% like set up. Now I'm going to show you what I would do 
say at the end of the night after I finish the day or really any time during the week. I try not to let this get too ahead of me because sometimes it's difficult to remember things, but my dailies actually help a lot with that. Um, I'll show, I'll actually just show you right now. So I, these are my appointments and I'm gonna use these to make my dailies and to guide what I'm doing through the week. This is what it looks like in the middle of the week. I have all my appointments that I knew were happening. And then this is filled in with the record keeping part of the day. And I'm going to go through and do yesterday, which I haven't had a chance to do, and just show you guys how that goes. So if I had waited longer or say I was being a real dummy today, and I couldn't remember what I did yesterday. What I would do is just flip to my dailies. And I would go through and basically just remember what I did so that I could take the record of my day and basically all the things that I had done and accomplished and stick them in here, which is kind of nice. And while I'm in here, I can show you how I set up my dailies. I like this system, this kind of blank page system, so much, similar to the reason why I like my weekly is because I can customize it to exactly what I need. Typically, I will split the page here and use this portion to journal and this portion for to-dos, scheduling, work. Basically, I just set it up however I need to that day and it fits all my needs in terms of organization and productivity, but also creativity and journaling and mental health. I really like this. So now I'll just show you filling this in. And sometimes I put things on post-its also when they're supposed to happen, but I'm not certain that they will. And this did happen. And then I also put little highlights of the day at the top over here. I think it's a really nice way to kind of be able to quickly look back and remember like just anything about that day. was rescheduled and I don't mind that see that was like the easiest record keeping I kind of love how simple and straightforward that is and that you kind of get such a nice finished product like this makes me really happy being able to look back at all of this and see what we've done and now you can see sometimes when I've had bigger mistakes I'll use just a little post-it to kind of go over it. There's no reason to get super fancy. I've done these with tiny stickers. I've done them without any real highlighting. It's just, you can do anything you want and I love that about them. And now in terms of my weekly planning in my Hobonichi Cousin, that's finished, which is kind of sweet. I now I'm going to show you what I do in my Hobonichi weeks. Well, one of the things I would have also done in my cousin is go through in here in my wallet and see if there's any papers 
that I need to be keeping track of and there's anything important that I need to be taking care of to get in here. And I actually just realized that I forgot to do that and there is one. So we're gonna go back and write that down. I need to drop my tax bill off tomorrow. Okay. So I somehow managed to get through a week without actually going to the grocery store. I don't know how I did it and I'm 100% a failure for it. <laughs> Let's just be real on that. Um, so I actually have like a general list of things that I need already. And this is just because I wasn't gonna take the time to actually meal plan yet. I'm gonna do that with you guys now, but I had to just <laughs> actually figure out all the things that my house needed before my family revolted. <laughs> all right. So I will show you guys what I do in here now. Last week was just, just a failure. <laughs> <laughs> I sometimes do sticker planning in here like I did the first week of the month. This is so cute. I love it. But because a lot of people sticker plan and frankly, I'm just not going to be doing kits that much. I decided to show you guys what I do with just a pen and paper and my Tombow marker. So we'll stick with the blue again. This is so hard to line up. <laughs> Ignore that. I like making this cuter than my cousin usually. We're trying to. It's such a small canvas, but I'm always trying these like crazy things that don't always work out. And I'm gonna use that to meal plan breakfast. dinner and track activity and now we're gonna go look at the week that I really loved my setup but for some reason I'm not copying 100% and seeing what I did So, to explain to you guys kind of how crazy it is that I didn't go to the grocery store once, I usually go to the grocery store twice in the week for my family. Once for our main trip and one more time for, like, just to restock on, like, 
water and snacks for the weekend. And I've done none of that. Well, actually, I have like six hours to myself today. And I 100% went to the grocery store and got myself some Diet Coke and like melon when the family left. I'm very happy. <laughs> second trip. So to give myself a little bit more space, I usually also split this in two. And then the nice thing about already having my list, my main list written out is that I'm going to be able to organize this much better. In here. So at least I have that going for me. Now, I'm going to show you guys how I actually would be meal planning. I'm going to be opening up my weekly to get an idea of what my week looks like in order to figure out what I want to be feeding my family. So we're going to, on Monday morning, we're going to have eggs and toast for breakfast because I... I have basically eggs and bread in my house still. So that's what we'll eat. We'll have a little bit more time for dinner. So I can do roast chicken. And then I also usually plan until Wednesday, often, I'll, we'll have fam dinner with my family on Thursday, and usually we're lazy. Also, we also usually order on Wednesday. I don't know. Don't judge my family's eating habits. <laughs> Tuesday, we'll have burgers. So now that I realize that I really just need to put my, I guess I'll just write this in while I have you guys. Now I realize that I should have left a box here for me to check next to it, but I'll just be checking on the other side. It won't read as easily in all honesty, but it's not the biggest deal to have, have to deal with. And I'm also adding things from my meals into my grocery list as well.
All right. And that is the start of my week meal planning and grocery list all completed. Now this will come with me to the store and I'll check things off as I put them in my cart. And then I will fill in my daily activities for this week. And that's the end of what I do to set up for my week. I'm, I hope you like it. <laughs> and I hope it wasn't too boring or anything for you guys. Um, I plan on hopefully doing a plan with me in May to show you guys how I set up for my monthly. So thanks for watching. Bye.